Welcome back to The Chill. My name is Colton Kowser and I am your host. Today we have two special guests and they're going to introduce themselves right now. Hi everyone, I'm Adley Rutschman and um, I'm here with Colton Kowser today and Gunnar as well. Hi, I'm Gunnar Henderson. But this is how we chill. Alrighty. So today, um, these question is for you two from the fans. They want us to break down the tracksuit outfits from last year walking into the stadium. Yeah. Hmm. That stemmed from the uh, very long rain delay, and if you give four individuals, mainly uh, men, that long of time period to just yeah. come up with random stuff. That's what happens. I'm gonna bounce off of that. I think the entire idea was was your idea, right? Well, maybe. Just, you were browsing yeah. Amazon. Amazon, uh, Amazon finds, you know. Amazon finds. Amazon finds. You remember what you said to us? I think I was just like, hey, what if we wore these to the field like next Friday? Yeah, I think everyone was pretty against it too when you first. Yeah. Uh, like no, when you first suggested. Well, you know, you were in. I think I was in, but I don't really? think I think Mounty wasn't in. Mounty was took some persuasion. Westberg was actually supposed to be in, mm. involved, supposed to wear red, um, but he's just way too professional for us. Um, and you know, I think he regretted it for sure. Big time. He doesn't get on the tops card. D did was not on the tops card. Not get on the tops card. Not on the tops card. So yeah, do you have any idea of like what we're gonna do for this year? Is it pretty much it? This year, we're, yeah. we're going to have to scheme something up. We'll, uh, we're open to suggestions, fans. So let us know. Let us know. Let us know. We're going to move on to uh, Gunnar Henderson's fan question. My fan question was, what was the first big purchase you ever made? A car for me. Like, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I think first off season after. What kind of car? What car? I got a, I got an Audi. S5, mm -hmm. little, little gray, little matte gray, Ooh, wow. and I did enjoy it. I enjoyed the amenities of it. And it had heated seats? It had heated seats, and it also had air conditioning. Oh, oh air conditioning in the car? In or the like car. In, yeah. Or on the seats? Dude, that's like, crazy that came on free. Like on the car, yeah. Wow. Well, it didn't, didn't like come for free free, but like a little, you know, it, it was an added perk of, wow. of the car. It also like it also um, was automatic transmission, so like I didn't even oh, have to like. You didn't have to shift. They didn't even have to shift or anything. But did you have the option to were there paddles in case you wanted to? They did. They had little plastic paddles on it. Wow. So it be like, ring, ring. Wow. Yeah. It was, That's. It was super well, how cool. was the like the the grip and traction on it? You could turn real sharp. Un handling. Unbelievable. Yeah, um, handling is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. It's super. You know, stuck stuck to the road. Wow. You know, just really love the pavement. What? You know. I bet. Was, was addicted to. Yeah, I was like its favorite thing. It was like what, driving. What was the thing. zero to sixty on that thing? Oh, uh, probably like you know, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay. Like okay. Sure, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What What about yours, Colton? No, we're gonna shift on to Gunner. Oh, okay. Um, oh, uh, your last. Yeah, the last. The host. Right. So my first big purchase. Um, I built a batting cage oh, behind. Gosh, dang! Sorry, bet this right. guy freaking can we edit this out? No, yeah, actually, can I reach? Yeah, can I rechange my answer? I actually I built a full weight room and just you know try to better my body. Dude, so that's the thing with that's me is did, I I built a complete recovery room. Oh, <laughs> I had sauna, cold tub, hot tub, didn't even steam shower, didn't even else. a bunch of foam rollers. Yep, yoga mats, personal, just personal care. Yep, hired a personal chef. That's where this hard body comes from. So oh, yours was probably the lightsaber. No, my actual first purchase was I don't have a recovery room. I wish, but it was probably my truck. Yeah, I'd say. Car. My car, my car for sure. Your car, it's really cool. Yeah, actually, I, I paid yeah. off my parents' house. You did? Yeah. Really? That, that could be considered a big purchase. Put that in there. That's, yeah. That's see, that's a good Samaritan right there. Good guy. Yeah. You did know, you pay for anything. Shout out to the shout out to the rents. Did you pay for anything? 
I did buy my parents' new furniture for their uh, living room. Actually, pretty much an entire new living room. Their living room or your, your living room? Unless you still live with your parents? As of really not. Why do I feel like that? Have a little something behind it. You do too. I know. I've been homeless, technically. I, <laughs> yeah. I just bounce around. But, oh, um, man. All right, Rudge. I do want to hear from Gunner and Colton on this one. Um, <clears throat> God, you would have said. I feel like I'm at the beach. That was a grubby sound. Grubby? What the hell that was a grubby, grubby sound? <laughs> just like a grub worm sucking down some water. <laughs> Okay. All right. Anyway, sorry. It's like I'm in Dune, huh? Huh? Sandworm. You're a sa you're a cyborg. Is that why the dugout started doing that when you're up to bat? Summon Colton. Hey, oh, sorry. Ciao. <laughs> That's actually pretty intimidating. Can you imagine? Everyone in the stadium starts <clears throat> <laughs> summon him. If I start hitting the dirt when I get up to the plate, <laughs> it's just with your bat. <laughs> Maybe you could like dress up like a little wiener dog in a sandworm outfit and have him like go out and get your bat after. Okay, all right. Anyway. I have Paul Atreides! Okay. What? <laughs> you haven't seen the movie, you don't get it. Yeah, that's so true, we did. We did, we yeah. saw it together front row. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 He tricked me, he said we had to get tickets. We were sitting front row, bar left. I just wanted someone to see it with me. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway go ahead. speaking of which, what is your best impression? That is my fan question, so you can- That is? You can do well. Your, that's it. Paul, we're gonna. Well, I don't have very good impressions, but I know Gunner, Gunner does. He's got plenty. So lead us off with your top two. Top two, um, or just anything. Or just anything. Yeah. Just kind of like roll, start rolling. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I give a good uh, Scooby Doo lap. Yeah, that's and then um, pretty good Jar Jar Binks impression. Well, let's hear. You got it. Which, which yeah. one do you want to hear first? All, all of them. Just okay. start going. Scooby Doo. All right. <laughs> oh, and then the Jar Jar Binks is me so to the Binks. Wow, the deer in the chair to that. I feel like you could do like a good Elmo off of that too. Yeah, I have wished Elmo enough or recently. I feel like do you have a couple good ones? I don't know. I mean, I feel like they can quote stuff really. I thought like you yeah. had like a voice. Um, so was it Shrek? Which one was it? <laughs> Not Shrek. Right? Shrek. <laughs> the gingerbread man, or the the oh the, the, the gingerbread yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, from, from Shrek. Shrek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For one, I think it's from Shrek too. When he's like, when he's getting tortured by. Yeah. He's like, Not the button. The muffin man. That's it. He would do that today when we were living together. Hey, man. I don't really have one. I can just do it with like a pterodactyl. I feel like. <laughs> Give us a stand. Yeah, I'm dressed. Dressed. Ah! Um, yeah. Gunner, I feel. I feel like another one that like Ooh. most people like to do is like the like the Bane. Bane. Oh yeah. You, you can do Bane pretty good too. That was two spring trains ago. We were watching that one, right? Uh. Yeah, I think so. I I I way. just want to hear Gunner. Like, you can do it. That's it. What are we going to compare? I know. I, yeah, let's I, compare. You're going to end up in the darkness. I was born. No, I didn't buy it. That's good. That's good. That was yeah. really good. I feel like, yeah. The... I have chills. Literally chills. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I think... Look at that hair. Nice. That's well, static well, electricity. Well, I don't have chills. Well, that's, that's all embarrassing doing the, like, impressions, though, because I feel like they sound good, like, in your yeah, head. And they sound good. Good. No, you're sounding great. Hopefully we have some, like... No, look at those my quality or something, oh. or just bad. My we're on the set of Friends right now. All right, so we're gonna get absolutely um, all right. torched. The me. It's going. Good Star Wars bit right here, using the Force. You were on me. I don't know where to put it. I put it on there. <laughs> it's not gonna stay. So moving on to the personal questions. Um, you know, this one, I guess technically it was written for me, but it is a great personal question for me. Jeez, my um, what Pokemon would you choose as a starter? Or uh, do you choose? But it's whether it's fire, water, or grass, or you can give me specific Pokemon. I just thought of like Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron. That's a good impression too. Okay. okay. Um, what, what, okay. I don't know a whole lot about Pokemon. Can you do Carl Weezer for us? No. Um, it says, what would you choose as your starter Pokemon? A starter Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna let Gunner go first on this one. Well, I think I only know three in this. Okay, Pikachu, Charizard, and um, 
And uh, what a squirtle. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Squirtle. Yeah, I don't know. Squirtle. Squirtle. Is that how he says it? Yeah. Squirtle. Squirtle. Um, I reckon I'd just be Charizard then. So, I feel like he's a. I, can, I, can I intervene here? I don't, Charizard is not a starter Pokemon. What is I don't this? Know. I mean, a it is the third ever. Can you give a shit of Charmander? All right, well, I'll be Charmander. Then. Okay, thank you. I don't know any in chat. What, what's the starter for Pikachu? I think he is. It's just Pikachu? Yeah. I guess technically it's Pichu. Pichu. Is that right? That's right, yeah. Like Pikachu's higher! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Um, yeah, sh yeah, shout out. Yeah, thing to. They said no sponsorship. Hit us up. Is that, that's yours? How about this? Would you rather be fire, or grass, or water? I honestly, I feel like I feel like um, like grass would be cool. Okay. Mm. Okay. Just uh, super mellow. Super you know? mellow. Yeah. For me, um, I'm I'm going squirrel. Uh, we all three have different answers, but um, you know, I think the the third evolution, Blast Choice, is just it's he's a beast. So that's who I. Choose. What does he do? He freaking Flash Toys. You know what I mean. Um, so, <laughs> I also like uh, um, Turtwig. Tur Turtwig? I haven't played in a while, but that's Pokemon Pearl right there. That was my childhood. Moving on to Gunnar Henderson's uh, question. Well, this is for y'all to... Why was it important for you to go to college and not the league after high school? I'll answer it because his answer is going to be different than mine. Uh, I wasn't good enough, personally. <laughs> plain and simple. No plain and simple. Um, <laughs> plain and simple, just... Probably maybe could have got drafted way later in the draft when there was 40 rounds. Um, but I think it was important. I understood that I, uh, I needed to go to college to further develop myself. and uh, flourish at uh, St. Houston. Yeah, like a flower mm -hmm. or a uh, butterfly out of the cocoon. You know, I felt like going to college, going to Sam Houston, especially gave me the opportunity to go in and play right away. And um, that was most beneficial for me. Like a peacock, you <clears throat> spread your wings. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. Yep. That's good. You good at a block of analogy. Yeah. Would you be a peacock if you if you like were an animal? No, you know what animal I'd be. You'd be a. Um, you know this. Uh, I'm a spotted leopard. Oh, that. Oh, how was you? Oh, was you? oh um, uh, uh, frog. Yeah. No, not that's not it either. Horn beetle. I would be an orca. That's right. That's right. We talked about that. A frog. <laughs> what the heck? A frog? Well, so why did you go to college? Um, I just... Uh, simple answer, no talent. Just lack of it. Okay. Um... Weren't you I, drafted at a high school, though? Yeah. You didn't, you didn't want to sign in... 40th the, round. You didn't want to sign in the 40th round? I mean... 40th round, 1-1, one, one, I mean... Yeah. One of them gets you in the system earlier. I mean, yeah, so true. You're right. I, I wish I had you earlier in life. Um, I mean, I could have been your agent's last advisor. Mm -hmm. Still could. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I mean, I think I went to college just because uh, just it was, you know, that was the better decision. It, it was pretty, like, obvious at the time. Yeah. It seemed like. And, um, you know, I enjoyed Oregon State. It was, like, my dream college growing up, like, mm -hmm. college baseball program I followed. And, um, had a lot of ties there, so. But didn't you also have the opportunity to play football too? I did. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd say played football is a loose term, just because I yeah, kick sure. off, you know. So. It's well, like, but I mean, that's a big deal. That's, you I mean, know, like three or four plays a game. But just get. What if right. you kicked it out of bounds every time? That's a flag. Uh, that's true. I wouldn't be doing my part. I mean, exactly. uh, how many career I, field goals in college? I mean, it, oh, none. none. Like, yeah, well, no, I just. High didn't school. Know. What was your longest field goal again? Sixty-three. Wow. And can we find that on your huddle? You can find that on my huddle highlight tape. Yeah. You can, it's you a pretty sick highlight tape, I mean, guys. It's like, there's some, like, touchdowns. I don't know if it's public weird, but, for public view, but... But you can find it on there, like, if you, you know, if you need some, like, shit. So I have another question. If you need something to, like, be, like, really impressed by or whatever. Stimming. <laughs> <laughs> Still show your girlfriends. <laughs> um, uh, it'll be all ogre. <laughs> Uh, well, I have a question. Yep. Have you ever recovered your own onside kick? I have. Really? Yes. Was it like a surprise one or? Yep. Wow. Yeah, it was in in the first game that I played in college. Oh, you did it in college? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, first first game. Just a little like self-recovery, a little bunk wow. kick. Wow. Yeah. 
We're going to have to go find that on the Pac-12 network, huh? No. Boise. Well, maybe Boise not State. anymore, actually. Pac-12. Yeah. Pirate Pete. See ya. Yeah. No more. Okay. Vista. Anyway, um, if you were showing me around your hometown, where would you take me to eat? Oh, good question. I don't have this answer. I'm a, I've already Seeing how I'm in a small town, there's not many restaurants, but I would take you to our barbecue place called Hancock's Barbecue. I've been there. You've been there? I've Hauser been there. has, in fact, been there. I have really? Been there. Yeah, yeah. I, so I've been. It's pretty cool. It's good? Yeah, it like chopped beef. Chopped chop beef. barbecue, what was it? Chopped pork. Beef. Yeah, but y'all didn't call it pulled pork at the time. I remember whenever I went, I was like, oh, we're going to barbecue. Like, and I was like, oh, what's like on the menu? And then it just said like chopped beef. No, chopped beef. I don't need barbecue place. I said like chopped beef. No, but it, I was so confused because I talked to him for like two yeah. minutes about it. Just I just said, it just said barbecue plate. And I said, oh, like what's on it? Like he just said barbecue. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, no, no kind of barbecue. I don't think you're I was like, like sausage, was, like pulled was, pork, what are you Yeah, I like naming what you were asking. <laughs> it's just like like cold like, pork. It's barbecue. It took like three minutes for us to get through like the, the whole conversation because I was like, okay, well, like, what's on the barbecue plate? Cold it's barbecue. So I have a couple. Obviously, I have even a couple of barbecue. Well, I'm excited to go there because when we go to Houston, I'm, I'm excited to mm -hmm. bring you by. Um, so I have like two or three. There's one, there's Tex Mex spots. What that burger place is it? The bar of whatever? Or are you getting there? So, yeah, I guess we can get there. Um, there's too many Tex Mex spots. I love them all. Um, to be honest, so we're gonna go past that, but barbecue, uh, bar A barbecue, it's like an hour north. Shout out bar A, you don't know who you are. And uh, so then we're gonna go on to like Cabo Bob's too. It's like a Chipotle, but way better. Okay. And then last one is a place called Burger Tex. It's a little burger joint mm -hmm. about three minutes from where I grew up hitting, just hole in the wall. Great burger. And you know how much I like burgers. I, I'm a little yeah. hamburguesa, con, con queso, you know? A little espanol for the fans. There you go. Um, and then also Willie's Ice House and Grill. I have so many options. Yeah, you gotta eat. Seems like it would be a great time. So, not as many options on my end, but. Great. Yeah. You could have the chicken swirls. Yeah. Remember that'd be, when? That'd be, that wouldn't be at a restaurant. <laughs> you, you wanna tell the story of what I thought they were? <laughs> You thought they were called chicken squirrels? I thought we were eating squirrels. <laughs> we had dinner uh, in this no, house. I thought we were eating squirrel. Hometown uh, store called Mark's Mark, and they're widely known across Alabama for their chicken swirls. So when Kowser came to Alabama, he thought they were called chicken squirrels, and he thought we were eating squirrels the whole time. Hey, but I got through. I didn't, I didn't say a That's word. That's impressive. I didn't That's say. Really impressive. I was eating the meal, and I was just like, "Did you say anything?" And in my head, I'm like, "Then I'm just eating the squirrel right now." Like, <laughs> really but I was like, "Honestly, it tastes like chicken." Like, so yeah. I'm, I'm just getting through it. But it turned out it was chicken. You could have a tell-all dinner with four people, and they could tell you anything you want to know. Who would it be? I mean, I, I don't think any athletes are making my list, to be honest. Okay. I think it's going to be all like people from like. Okay, I'm not four. How about one? One person. One person. One person. Be like. Mm, oh, probably like a president or someone like in the CIA or something. Someone who has got a lot of dirt. Nice. And I would and I would enjoy, I would enjoy hearing it. You know, just okay. being a fly on the wall. Okay. I don't know who runs. What is it? Area. Area fifty one. That's what I was thinking too. The president of whoever the, or whatever that is, whoever nice. runs that operation. Yeah. I agree. So, or, or you could go with <laughs> Cut that, please. <laughs> Cut that, please. Cut that, please. You're a terrible person for that. <laughs> but this is how we chill.